My pioneer theorist is Jerome Bruner. Jerome Bruner founded nine theories in his career, and they are the perspectivist theory, the theory of limits, the constructivist theory, the interactional theory, the externalization theory, the instrumentalist theory, the institutional theory, and the identity and self-esteem theory. Jerome Seymour Bruner was born October 1, 1915 in New York City, New York, to Herman and Rose Bruner. Bruner was born blind due to cataracts on his eyes, but had an operation at age two to restore his vision. He was raised on the southern shore of Long Island and enjoyed spending time by the sea. Bruner described himself as quite a shy, geeky boy. At the age of 12, Bruner's father passed away and his mother moved the family to Florida. Bruner was a leader of cognitive revolution that ended the reign of behaviorism in American psychology, psychological research and put cognition at the center of the field. Jerome received a Bachelor of Arts degree in psychology in 1937 from Duke University and went on to earn a master's degree in psychology in 1939 and then a doctorate in psychology in 1941 from Harvard University. When World War II broke out, he served in the war psychology division. He wasn't allowed to fight because of his eyesight. After the war ended, he returned to Harvard to serve as a professor. He stayed at Harvard until 1972 when he left to teach at the University of Oxford in the United Kingdom. He returned to the United States in 1980 to to continue his research in developmental psychology and in 1991 joined the faculty at New York University where he taught in the School of Law. He married Catherine Frost and they had two children together, a son named Whitley and a daughter named Jane. The couple divorced after he returned from Europe at the close of World War II. He married again to Blanche Marshall but that marriage ended in divorce as well. His third wife, Carol Faldman, passed away in 2006. Jerome Bruner became a professor at Harvard University in 1952 and stayed until 1972. He left Harvard to teach at Oxford in England and stayed until 1980 when he returned to the United States and accepted a position at New York University in 1991. While working at Harvard, Bruner was heavily involved in research relating to co cognitive psychology and educational psychology. In 1967, he turned his attention to the subject of development. Bruner is known for coining the term scaffolding and his contributions to cognitive psychology and educational psychology. In three decades at Harvard, Bruner published works on perceptual organization, cognition, and learning theory, of all which departed dramatically from the deliberate mind blindness of behaviorism. Equally influential were Bruner's investigations of children's cognitive development. Jerome Bruner's influencers were Jean Paget, a Swiss psychologist known for his work on children development. Lev Vygotsky, a Soviet psychologist known for his work on psycho psychological development in children. Howard Garner was a developmental psychologist best known for th this theory of multiple intelligence. Benjamin Bloom was an inf influential academic educational psychologist. Jerome Bruner died on June 5, 2016 at the age of 100 in Matton. In his lifetime, he made key contributions in several areas, including memory, learning perception, and cognition. Bruner spearheaded the cognit cognitive revolution, and his work led to significant changes in the American school system. Bruner is listed at number 28 on the American Psychological Association's list of the 100 most eminent psycho psychologist of the 20th century. Jerome Bruner held the view that any subject can be taught to any child at any age. Bruner's learning theory has direct implications for teaching practices such as, such as 
Being aware of the learner's learning modes will help teachers plan and prepare appropriate material for instruction. Bruner's exploration of learning and cognitive development has changed the field and his enthusiastic support of cross-disciplinary research restored the work of many colleagues and students. The websites I found my information on Jerome Pruner are www.britannica.com, exploringyourmind.com, www.famouspsychologist.org, www.theguardian.com, www.instructionaldesign.org, practicalpie.com, psychologyanswers.com, <clears throat> psychologyfas.harvard.edu, www.simplypsychology.org, and www.teachthought.com.